called Ariscon. We have a space star shield that protects our planet. We are led by our king. He's a great leader and a nice guy. The king is also my grandfather. That makes me a prince. My name is Varuk. Enemy warship approaching outer perimeter. Your Majesty. I will speak with the ancients. They have trusted me with great power. I shall never abuse it. Enemy warship approaching outer perimeter. is an audience with the court of the eternal laws of the universe. I am King Fendel of Alriscon. All who speak before the court of the ancients must have the gift in their heart. May success be ours, Your Majesty. citizens of Alriscon. Our people are once more assaulted by Lugos of Tumbor. He reaches across the stars to our very homeland. Nothing can stop me now. Lugos has conquered dozens of worlds. He's enslaved their children and absorbed their technology. shall be mine. I will not allow him to enslave my people. It is the gift that makes us human. Let me end the threat. Here and now. intelligent creature deserves a chance to surrender even a beast like Lugos <laughs> open communication with the Tumbor leader you can never penetrate the star shield around our planet I beg you surrender peacefully and now for my little surprise. I offered him mercy, and he responds with trickery. No matter how deep into the galaxy he goes, I will find him and destroy him. I was sent to a fort on a nearby planet. Nowhere in the galaxy is the young prince safe from me.
So it looked like Lugos had me, but I had a trick ready for him. Brian, put the video game down and get ready now, okay? You want to do it? I'll do it. Just leave me alone. Don't forget all the rest of your stuff. Be sure you bring your medical kit with you. Don't worry, Brian. You'll be home in time for your favorite programs. Ah, it'll be good for all of us. Get away from the city for a while, get some fresh air in our lungs. I always like Smith Lake. It's so clear and beautiful. Come on, Brian. You can play video games anytime. Missing all the great scenery. It's only trees, trees, and more trees, Dad. Ryan, get over here. You can't just keep your eyes on that video screen all day long. Here we are out on Great Smith Lake looking at all this beautiful scenery. All you care about is fantasy characters on some video screen. 
Maybe you need a dose of reality, huh? You try sticking a needle full of poison in yourself. I get all the reality I need, Dad. It's not poison to you, son. Well, this to everybody else. Might as well get used to it, son. It's not gonna change. Take it easy on him, Adam. You can't baby him, Laura. He's just a little boy, and he's sick. He's doing just fine. As soon as he gets used to taking his injections every day... Brian, when's your next injection due? Honey! Don't worry, Mom. About four hours. Easy, don't run. Don't make any sudden moves. Easy, Brian. Easy. Brian, take it easy. No, no, no. Don't move. Don't move. All right, go back to the van. Slowly. Slowly. Go on. It's all right. Slowly. Just back away slowly. Easy, Brian. There's a ranger station about a mile down the road. Go take the van. Go. Ryan, run. Go. Go, son. Go. Laura. Run, son. Run, Brian. There's a bear! Run! Run! Come on! Get back! 
There's a bear! Get back! I swear there was a bear up there. He was chasing me. It, I, I swear it, 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 it. What's the matter? Don't you understand? There's a bear. Didn't you see it? Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? Ryan! So what are you doing out here? How come you're dressed like that? I sure wish you'd say something. You can talk, right? Oh my god, I've lost them both. Mr. Barrington! Brian! This is Alan Sampson, United States Forest Ranger! Can you hear me? It's all right. It's okay. I saw the bear. The bear's not after him. It's all right. But I couldn't find him. I, I don't know where he is. I looked everywhere. Well, I couldn't find him. Uh, look, the bear probably just wandered into your camp because he smelled your food. And your boy's just lost. Don't worry. We'll find him. Hello? You speak English? Do you understand me? Can you talk? I got separated from my parents. So can you help me find the road? Uh, what's up with that watch? Do you speak English? Can you understand me at all? Do you talk? Don't worry. Don't be nervous. The bear's way back there. He can't get us. Hey, wait, are you off too? Is that it? Hello? We know Brian's on this side of the creek, right? That's something, isn't it? Very encouraging. Fortunately, he could still be anywhere. This is Al. I'm still with the Barringtons. We found a footprint on the west side of the creek. You better notify the volunteers. Don't worry, we'll find him. He did good. It's all right. It's all right. I called for our team of volunteers because it's going to be getting dark soon. Hey, are we going in the right direction? Listen to me, I might as well be talking to myself. Hello, inside the house? Anybody in here? Hey, do you live here? Is it safe? Have you been inside before? abandoned house. Uh, you've been in here, right? I mean, it's an old abandoned house, but nothing lives in there. Is it safe in there? Hey, looks like some homeless guy might be living here. Are you sure it's safe? Nice. Are you sure you can spare it? Uh, I don't know. It probably has too much sugar in it. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Oh, uh, well. Hey, this is pretty good. What kind of juice is this? Whoa. Hey, has enough insulin for at least two more injections? Yeah, yeah, maybe more. We can't be certain of that. No, relax, Laura. It's all right. We've checked the van thoroughly, and his medical kit isn't in it. It must be in his backpack. Why aren't you out there looking for him right now? Oh, it's okay, really. It's something I have to do or I'd get really sick. Oh, look 
at how bright they all are. There's the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper? You can talk? Of course I can talk. Well, then why didn't you talk before? I didn't want to. What's a dipper? That constellation is called Zandes. Zandes? You're crazy. Everybody knows that that's the Big Dipper. Zandes. And there's Mars. Mars? You don't know anything, do you? That's Funic. Funic? Are you nuts? You must have read some nursery book with funny names for the stars, right? And that's Nerwan, and that's Scootnish. All right. Boy's been gone for about four hours. He's a diabetic. I'm not sure how much insulin he has. His name's Brian. He's a smart kid, so let's check any trees, bushes, shrubs, anything he might use for shelter. Let's do it. Let's find this kid. We're going with you. Having more inexperienced people in the woods at night could do more harm than good. Maybe we should uh, take the, uh, the van back to the campsite. You know how to use this? Yeah, uh... Don't have to worry. We'll find your son. I'll check with you every half hour. They'll find him. It's all right. Come on. Thanks, everybody. We'll find him. They will. Don't worry. So you lost, too? Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Kurt. I'm Brian. How long have you been out here? Three days. My grandfather is searching for me. You must have a search party looking for the both of us right now. I've been eating nothing but these. Go ahead. I've got lots. What is it? You wouldn't understand. It's kind of like a cookie. What do you mean I wouldn't understand? I know what a cookie is. Does it have sugar in it? I can't eat any sugar. I have to be careful. No sugar. All natural. Okay. Pretty good. Did your mom make it? She bought it. Cool. Cool. Are you suffering from lack of feet? Should we make the fire bigger? You're a strange dude, aren't you? A dude is a city slicker on a cowboy ranch. Right. So where'd you come from, Mars? Or what did you call it out there? <laughs> Funic. That's funny. Nobody lives on Funic. The astrophere is only 52 microgilts. Okay. Whatever. Oh, uh, we better get some sleep. I'll get us both out of here tomorrow. I'll find the main road or a creek or something. the old Wheeler house. Yeah. I'll check the basement. You go upstairs. Okay. Stay out here. Uh, Brian might see the van tonight. That's a good idea. We'll spend the night out here. I'll contact you at sunup. Try and get some rest. I can't. I thought you'd never be ready. What time is it? It's in the morning. Duh. Ah. 
actually gonna do that thing again, are you? Uh, I have to test my blood first. Sometimes I don't need an injection. <laughs> and I bet my parents are really worried by now. He'll be all right, Laura. He's got a good head on his shoulders. You'll be brave. He'll be okay. But he's been out there all night. Can you help me find the way back to the main road? I haven't seen a road yet, but you said something about a creek. Follow me. Hey, wait a minute. I'm older. I'll leave. You just show me the way. So how old are you? Ten. On the next day of my birth. Day of your birth? You have a funny way of talking. You're not from around here, are you? No, far away. Oh, from where? Uh, how old are you? Oh, 13. All right, now you all know your new sectors. We think this boy has enough medication to last until at least midday. So let's find this kid. Miss Barrington, do you have some of Brian's clothing? This is his jacket. Thank you. All right, spread out. Let's go. I can't just stand around and wait. I want to help you look for Brian. Look, that's not a good idea. Look, officer, he's our kid, and we're going to help look for him. All right, stay close to me. We'll follow the creek. Brian! Which way to the creek? This way, I guess. You guess? You told me that you could lead me to the creek. Are you okay? Oh, oh, my hand! Oh. Uh, my hand! Oh, my hand! Oh. No, don't touch it! Oh. I'll make it all better. hologram, you are in the presence of my grandson, Prince Farouk, and it means that my grandson is in imminent danger. Any assistance that you may provide him will be greatly appreciated by all the citizens of al Raskar. Lugos is evil and wicked, and is intent on universal domination. If our world is conquered, no planet in the galaxy is safe. I implore you, please assist my grandson in any way you can. In the name of the gift, peace throughout the galaxy. Pretty neat, huh? What should I call you, Prince? What's his name? Rook? No, you can call me Kirk. I got my name from my favorite TV show, uh, Star Trek, you know, Captain Kirk. Watch Star Trek? Doesn't everybody? I've been watching Earth TV signals for years. So that's how you speak English? No, I don't really speak English. That's my watch. It's doing automatic translation. Automatic translation? Cool. But sometimes it doesn't get everything right, like that cool stuff.
is one cool watch. Yeah? You haven't seen the best part yet. We put pyramids all over Earth with a message for peace. Oh, we thought the ancient Egyptians did that. We couldn't figure out the writing. Ancient Egyptians? We were here long before them. How did you get to Earth, anyway? I got away in my mother's pod. I escaped. What's a pod? It's a small spaceship. I'm not that good a driver yet. I crashed in here on Earth. You drive a spaceship? Well, yeah, kind of. My dad lets me drive sometimes, but only in the driveway. It's not a real spaceship. Not anything like the real Captain Kirk has. You know, the Starship Enterprise? This is just a little pot that my mom uses for errands. You crashed your mom's spaceship? <laughs> You're busted. It was my first time driving. I had to get away from Lugos. Take a look at this. Yeah? What am I supposed to see? Right, you can't see it. Whoa, cool! Way cool! Hey, my translator just got it. Yeah, cool, way cool. My grandfather's searching for me in the galaxy right now. My dad's looking in the woods. Can you fly faster than light? Impossible. Well, then how did you get here from so far away? I don't know. I just drove it. I'm only a kid. I'm only in calculus, too. Our technology is different than yours. I guess so. Can we go inside? Can I take a look? Come on. This is Prince Farouk. I want to come inside. <laughs> Don't be chicken. I won't take off. I promise. Happy, come in. This is Brian. He's my friend. Hello, Happy. Oh, hello, B -b 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 Brian. Can you see me? Well. Sure, no. Well, I guess. Not the way you think of seeing him. He's a computer. Oh, right. You have a stupid clown as your computer? He's not stupid. When my mom needs him, he'll turn into a lawyer. Show him, Happy. Sure. At the standard 750 Comax per hour. Ah, good day, Your Majesty. This guy gives me the creeps. Happy, come back. This is just the way I like him. He's not stupid, he's a clown. I guess you don't get some of his jokes after all. You do live on a backwards little planet, don't you? Hey, Brian, you know what you get when you cross a ferret with a giant tiger? No, what? No, no guesses? Well, neither do I. But if it says Polly want a cracker, man, you better get one right now, baby. Ta, that's lame. Lame? You think that's lame? Well, try this one on for size. Hey, Brian, how many lawyers does it take to fill a Nirnipod? Hey, what's that? A 
are you talking to me? You talking to me? Yeah, I guess I am. What is that? I don't see nobody else here. You must be talking to me. <laughs> yes, that, that. Well, that's, uh, yes, that, well. Well, that's the, uh, we're in big trouble. Come and get us. Button. We're trying to send a signal to my grandfather to let him know that we're here on Earth. Happy date of your birth, Grandpa. I love you. And I love you, my grandson. If it wasn't for my hesitation, you would be home. You would be safe. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Sev wishes to see you. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Send them in. Wonderful news, Majesty. We've picked up a distress signal from the young prince. Oh, where? From system 6122B, about 15 light years. It comes from an insignificant world. Yes, and we... yes, the blue planet. The inhabitants call it Earth. It was always my, my grandson's favorite. I should have realized. Prepare our fastest shuttle. Is uh, my order unclear, Sev? Or are you hard of hearing? No, Your Majesty. I only thought... And I would need to obtain permission from the Ancient One. Yes, Your Majesty. Interplanetary travel is forbidden. Are you afraid? Of course not, Your Majesty. It's only that the planet Earth is such a violent little place. One war after another. All the more reason that we must go. My grandson is there. And he's alone. Cool. Yeah, so cool. Hey, Happy, I bet you don't know what that means, do you? But let me check my memory bank. Oh, no. <laughs> well, the text coming in. Yes, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, 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 I... Yes! Yes! Cool! Cool is agreeable. Something enjoyable. Yes, cool can also be hot. Opposite of cold. Cold. Cold is cool. Cool is cool. Cool is hot. 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 Cool is cool. Neat. Cool. Hey, what's that? I don't know. Father's coming. Cool. Oh, way cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Oh, but oh, maybe not so cool. Oh, yes, I do believe that's a ship from Tumbor that has received our signal. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Who goes? Yeah, come on. Good night, sweet prince. Four. Three. Parting is such sweet sorrow.
jumping away! I never got the credit I deserved. The big one. I've read the signal. I hope my grandfather did. I guess this means that Lugos' soldiers will be after us. Soldiers? George, what do you make of that smoke over in Sector D? Yeah, I see smoke. About 10 minutes away. All right, roger that. Look, it doesn't look like a forest fire, but I do think we should check it out. All right, come on. It's all right. If we can just hide out until my grandfather arrives. He might not know where you are. What if he's not coming? My grandfather would never stop looking for me. I'm the prince, remember? <laughs> Majesty, the ancients will be displeased. They'll ask questions. And I'll answer them with my grandson standing at my side. like a triangle. What could have caused that? I have no idea. This has nothing to do with Brian, right? Hey, look! Is this your son's? Oh, my God, Brian's backpack! You know, I always wondered why that Star Trek never did a show about the gift. The gift? What gift? You must know about the gift on planet Earth. You mean like a present? Not just a present. It's the gift that makes humans different from everybody else in the galaxy. Humans can use their brains not only to think of themselves, but to care for others. Don't they teach you about the gift in school, about caring for others? Let's go. Come. 
Over here. Keep quiet. Come on. Let me guess. Who goes this villain? Yeah, I thought I saw him last night while you were sleeping, but I tricked him. I used my watch while he couldn't see us. We gotta find my dad, come on. You think your dad's gonna help us against these guys? He'll think of something. Come on. Bob, make sure you check that ravine down there. Quiet. So, so there's only seven of these guys, right? It's a big force. They couldn't find us, right? I don't know. Well, they couldn't take over the world, could they? I don't know. Well, did they come in a ship like yours? I don't know. Uh oh. Don't worry, it would never fire at me. Found an Earth creature for a friend. Enhanced image of alien life force. I'm the prince. They need me alive. What about me? Good point. Target confirmed. Destroy the alien life force. What was that thing? What did he fire at me? How did he do it? Rayson Ray Exterminator. Oh, great exterminator. Is he coming after us? Not us. Me. He'll never stop. Anything we can do against it. How about your watch? Maybe. Now what's this? How's this gonna help? Greetings. How may I help you? Might as well just try this, I guess. What is your wish? Twenty crowbars. As you command. I don't get it. I would never use something like that. That stuff's for girls. Can you make it bigger? We need it bigger. Yeah. Oh, it's 
not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Prince Farouk, hold your position. <laughs> Sorry. She won't mind. W what about him? Be careful. Stay back from the light. Don't let it touch you. I bet I wouldn't understand, right? Can you get that box to do anything else? Well, I got three more after this one. But they're my mom, so I don't know what they're gonna become. There's only one way to find out. How may I help you? What is your wish? Better keep it small so we know what it is. Twenty crowbars. As you command. My mom's got the rope. I didn't know she had the rope. Well, I don't get it. Why would she want a tiny piece of rope? Not just any rope. It's the rope. Oh, that's right. You don't get RTV, do you? How long would you like it? It'll do anything I say. Its name is Kunza. Kunza? Your rope has a name? Doesn't yours? Ready? Yeah. Quiet. Did I come? Kunza, make like a snake in the grass. Hide yourself. All right, Kunza, that's good. Now keep one end here and have the other go across the path. Do it like a snake so you can't be seen. Get tight and strong, Kunza. Good, that's good. You can't catch us, you're too small. Prince Come on, let's go, girl. Let's go, run. Stop. Come on, let's go. Wait. Prince Farouk. Kunza, get sharp and tight like a wire. Stop! Wait! Three micro bits high! Now! It's okay? Yeah, they're down. Cool! You don't understand. These are robots. They can be fixed up like that. Stay away from the line. You're right. I guess this is a backward little planet that I live on. Yeah, but it has good people living on it. Now it's my turn to have an idea. You have to do exactly what I say, okay? But I thought you didn't know what these pyramids will do. I don't, but you can do this with every golden pyramid. You're not supposed to, but every kid at home knows how to do it. Go ahead, chill, but don't swallow. Don't swallow, just chill. Go ahead, chill. I haven't swallowed my gum in years. 
No. Don't even swallow your, what's it called? You spit. Know? Yeah, spit. Don't even swallow your spit. Where are you? Don't swallow your spit. Well, what happens if I do? Do what I do. He can't get away. He's only a kid. What can he do? <laughs> that stuff. What would have happened if I would have swallowed? Well, your stomach would have kind of digested. Kind of? you get real sick and you'd have the uh, whatchamacallies or you'd have to go to the bathroom all the time. Diarrhea? Yeah, the squirts. It's easy to trick my young prince. What do you think they'll do? I told you. I don't know. They're my mother. I know that this one makes the juice that we've been drinking. And this one makes the cookies that we've been eating. And I don't know what this last one does. Should I try it? Go for it. Greetings. How may I help you? What is your wish? Twenty crowbons. As you command. What is it? You wouldn't have anything like that on your planet. You would call it a weapon. Like a gun? You could call it a gun, but it won't do us any good. Why not? How does it work? Every weapon has a password. Well, do you know your mom's password? No. Well, that sucks. Prince Farouk, stop. Do not attempt to get away. Mom, I'm trying. Prince Farouk, stop. We must destroy the alien. One. Two. <laughs> 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 Pretty good shooting, don't you think? Yeah, great, but it's a smart gun. It always hits its target. Oh. You did real good thinking of the password. You used the gift. Stay with the main group. I'm gonna check over here. Ryan. 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 
be doing this? Yeah, we got our weapon. Come on. Yeah, but you don't understand. Quiet. Say the password now. Say it. It won't make any difference, but Rook the Magnificent. Once the gun's been used, it needs to be relicensed. But, but it fired twice. That's only for one thing. From a crazy planet you must live on. Yeah, well, there's something from your crazy planet. There's the bear. Let's get out of here. No, wait, wait. Let's use our brains, you know, the uh, gift. Yeah, the gift. I knew you had it. Hey, we can get a lot of cookies from those pyramids, right? Yeah, all you want. Okay, great, come on. Is this gonna work? I hope so. All right. Okay, go for it. Okay. listening to Farouk the Magnificent, didn't he just tell you that he was your future king? I must destroy the alien life force. My backpack, my medical kit. Is that all you can think about now? That doesn't make a difference. The soldier's about to dematerialize you in less than a minute. We gotta think of something quick. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything? Our little boy's lost in the woods without his medication and it doesn't mean anything? What could be worse? This is your final warning. Prince Baruch, please step away from the alien life force. supposed to tell anybody about me on planet Earth. No, 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 it's okay, they'll help.
God, Brian. Oh, thank God. Thank God. From, uh, from, uh, I don't know where he's from. He's lost too. Yeah, I've been out here for days. What's going on here? Well, you haven't had any reports of any other lost boys. Where's your parents, son? And what are you doing out here all by yourself? I don't know. These poor kids must be in shock. Can we get them something to eat? Here, wait. I gotta test Brian's blood right now. Come on, it's all right. Come on. And you come along with me. Laura. The doctor says we shouldn't give him a shot if his blood test's normal. He agrees it doesn't make any sense. He wants to see you tomorrow, Brian. How are you feeling, son? I'm okay, Dad, really. How are you, Kirk? Mm, you seem to regret. I think we should take these boys into town for some real food. Oh, Ranger, have you found Kirk's parents yet? I have some good news on that. The mystery's been solved. I just talked to the sheriff and Niles. Seems like this young boy's wanted away before. Haven't you, son? How would you do? Just disappear? Now you ought to know better than that. Well, he's got his mom and dad worried sick. But don't worry. I'm gonna take him back to him right now. Hey, wait a minute. No, I don't want to go. Son, don't no. cause any problems. Can you back to your mother and father? Brian, help! Help! Brian! This doesn't make any sense. Brian, help me! Brian, help! But there's something wrong. It's all right, it's all right, Brian. The uh, ranger knows what he's doing. It's all right, son. No. Uh, thanks a lot, ranger. We couldn't have done it without you. We appreciate all your help. Just doing my job. Long, folks. Help me, Brian. This isn't right. Why not? The ranger spoke to the sheriff. Well, Kirk doesn't have any parents, at least from not around here. You don't understand. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just relax. Come on, sir. Sit down over here. Relax. You've had a big ordeal here. Take it easy, Brian. But, Dad, you don't understand. Understand what, Brian? Kirk is... A prince from another solar system. Now, don't start, Brian. It's those damn video games you let him play all the time. He lives in a fantasy world. Dad, I'm telling the truth. Uh, Kirk is from another planet. His grandfather's the king. He, he was invaded by... He escaped from... Oh, my God. The ranger must be one of them. Now, Brian, settle down before you make yourself sick. But, Dad, I'm telling the truth. The truth about what? People from Mars? You mean Funic? What? No. Brian! Stop! Brian, you what can't. do you think? Unlock the door! Unlock the door! What are you doing? Brian, no! I have to save Kirk. Unlock the door! Brian, no! Unlock the door! Come on, come on.
listen to me. You don't know who I am. <laughs> oh, I know exactly who you are. Ow! What'd you do that for? Shut up! Just stay right there. I'll get that. Why are you doing this? Just a little walk in the woods. Here's a car. Here's a car. Gotta stop. Stop! Stop, please! please. Stop! Stop, please! We stop! Need your help. Oh, good, good. He's stopping. Listen, we've had an emergency with our son. Can you help of us? Of course. Thank you. Get in. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go. Go. Let's go. Stop squirming. Why are you doing this? Let me go. Why would I do that, Prince Farouk? We beat at last, Your Highness. I have no further need of you, Earthling. Uh, uh, you won't slip through my fingers with a trick this time. My grandfather will never give in to you. Look! It's our man! Stop! Pull over! Brian! Brian! Oh, God, Brian! Not there! He's not here! Brian! What do we do? Look, there's a path. He went into the woods. Over here. Come with us, please. Sure. Let me go. Be quiet and do as you're told. Kirk! My grandfather's the king. Your grandfather will now answer to me. I told you to shut up. Now come along quietly. You'll be sorry. Kirk! Kirk! What have you done with Kirk? Where's Kirk? My friend Kirk! What have you done with him? Who are you? Who am I? Are you the last kid? No, wait, come back! What? No, no, wait, wait! Oh! oh. Ah. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Stop it! Let me go! Where are you taking me? Ow! You're gonna be sorry! Kirk! Kirk! Your grandfather thinks he's so important. I'll show him who's really important. I will rule the galaxy. I think I just saw him. Where's our kid? Lisa was a Where kid. is he? I don't know. I just saw him the other oh, way. Where's what other way? Look, I'm sorry. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. But the kid Let's went that go way. Let's find him. Come on. I'll help you. Oh. My grandfather will never listen to you. If your grandfather ever wants to see you alive again, he'll do as I say. My mother. 
mother taught me to be nice to people. What did your mother teach you? Where are you, Kirk? Let me help you. Where are you, Kirk? Let me help you. Time to leave this little planet. Activate teleport. about the gift. Remember, Kirk? The gift. <laughs> Brian, no! That's a good boy. And a third will join us. Get you out of here right now. No, no, you don't understand. He was telling no, the truth. Look, I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Barrington, but I gotta go get help and I can't leave you here now. Come on, we gotta get help. Sir. Come on, he's now. He's right, we'll get help. Come on, let's go. The mighty King Fidel shall kneel before me. Is there any way that 
you can beam us back to Earth? Well, yeah, maybe. Come on! Well, yeah, maybe I can trick him. Happy, would you do the honors, please? Your Majesty, Master Brian Barrington of Planet Earth. It's all right, son. It's okay. Come on. It's all right. It'll be all right. Brian Barrington? Uh, yeah, J5. All the citizens of Alriscon are indebted to you. Your heroism has saved more than you can possibly imagine. Uh, thanks. Hey, can you stay a while? I can teach you how to play our video games. They're not as cool as yours, but, you know, still we can have a lot of fun. No, I don't think so. We must leave immediately. You were right about one thing, Grandpa. What's that, son? Some people on planet Earth have the gift, just like us. All beings throughout the galaxy have the gift. We all care for one another. The trick, my young prince, is how you use it. And your new friend, Brian, on Earth, has done just that. The chemical imbalance flowing through your body is gone forever. Does that mean I'll never be sick again? Never. Wow. Thanks. This has been one amazing adventure. No one's ever going to believe me. No one on Earth will remember anything of our visit. And that includes you, too. I'm sorry, Brian. You mean I'll, I'll never remember Kirk? <gasps> no, I'm sorry, boys. But maybe you'll dream about each other. Hmm? I'll never forget you. Me neither. Goodbye, Brian.
no more there. I know lots about you. You're my best friend. Call me Prince of, uh, make that Kirk. Well, I'm going back to sleep, Kirk. The king and I need you. Every second counts. The king needs me? What okay. king? My grandfather. Uh, my dad always said something like this would happen if I played too many video games. I guarantee you, it's better than games. It's cool.